Oh my gosh, oh, so I just got up and everyone's gone on the deep dark without me? No way, I'm coming too. Hello, I'm coming, Hello. I'm coming, yes. Whoa. So cool. Whoa. It's taking That's ages right. to load in. <laughs> There's a shrieker right where we're about to pass through, so. When I'm stressed, I just I forget about everyone else. Gando, I this think way. this might be a dead end. I'm not entirely sure, though. No, know. there's a way down here. There's, there's more deep dark down this hole. Here. There's a hole here. Oh, <gasps> Guys! Who? Uh-oh. That might have been me. That that's, one, been that's one. That's one. No! Uh-oh. It's just one. It's just one. Wait. Stop. No one move. Holy crap. S the city's Dude. down here. Oh, my. Oh my. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna make an extremely risky play and I'm gonna Don't. try and clutch. I'm gonna fly down and clutch on a block of wool. Oh my. Oh. Oh, look at oh. that. I'm after the chest. Oh. <gasps> Swift sneak. Swift sneak. And I got echo shards. How quiet do we wanna be? Incredibly quiet. Is that the one? That's the second time I've been. This is number two, um, right? Was that a shrieker? I didn't get. I didn't get the darkness. That was a shrieker. Yeah, yeah. I the, got, the shrieker's I got the only darkness. thing that gives you darkness. <gasps> uh oh. Is that the one? How many do you have to set off? Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. I can hear the heartbeat. So wait, there's a warden here right now. Yes, there's a. Not there's near a us though. Not near us because we can't hear it. I am terrified. Just fell in a hole. It activated a shrieker. Oh no! Yeah, that's that's heartbeat. Not again. Oh! The water is spawned right next to me. Oh! Holy oh! crap! That's the most terrifying thing in my entire life. There's another one. Water Dude. Oh. <laughs> no! What the, was that? what the bean was that? Nico. Uh, no, I'm just gonna get on a life. Guys, I found started. diamonds. Yo! Hey, yo. Oh! Suddenly, that's not quite so exciting. <laughs> Oh, Is hey. How's it going? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. I know you. I spawned another one next to you, Cringy. I'm sorry. I'm late. Oh, my gosh. You are actually a bum bum. I, I, I'm, I'm moving. Oh, away. he's right there. Don't no! Right I'm being sonic boomed. No. Don't Wait die. Come on. No! Oh, no! Wait, no. It's like so close. I can hear it. Why is he okay, so guys, mad? Oh, will, he's over here. Come on, Zahai. So he's trapped. It's chill. Okay. Blaze, I trapped slow. it. I Hello, trapped Blaze. it. Let's go. Hello, I'm for the Oh, no. Okay, oh, wait, Cringe. I'm just getting back up to the top hey. in two seconds. Oh, no. Watch out. Oh, oh, I've no. gone and done it, haven't you? I've gone and done it. I found my stuff. I got it. I got it. Got it. Dude! Oh, I can't carry myself. I, I crouched. Right oh, no. Oh. Bro, my heart just was going at like 300 miles per hour. Uh oh. Guys! You don't have here? to sneak, there's no sensors around here. Me too. Um, well. There's sensors around where Nico, I am, you, you don't need to be so sure. Oh dear. I don't know goat thing. I'm actually gonna fly up here, guys? to the overworld to try and find up a village route post to my raid farm. So see you guys. That'd be cool. Alright, okay. see you, bro. It's so that was so fun though, like incredibly fun. Oh, someone who has a bed, place it down here. 
Um, yep, he's got Yo. a bed. All right, this right, is our new camp. Bed. This is our new camp. There's no shriekers. Yo. This is awesome. Everyone, come over here and just jump on the the, sh the fences. Guys, I just found an amazing a exposed snow, lush cave in a, in a hill in a dark in a oh. dark spruce biome. The dark dark oak biome. Guys. What? Oh. Guys, there's a oh, sh oh my. my gosh. That was Dude, me. Should we try kill it? Guys, we've let's got it, a spawn here. We've got a spawn here. So let's do it. I'm just going to spectate this. Ah! I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> no! Are you serious? Cringy. Yeah, cringy. That is one. Oh dear. Oh, I'm making too much noise. I Dude, you. what are you doing? I'm running. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I swear I've been waiting here for like five minutes. Blaze! 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 Oh my gosh! I found your name tag! Oh! I'm. I'm. Kind of coming down. Come, come this way. I am coming. <laughs> yes. You're, you're mining straight towards our. This is our safe room here. Yes, I hear you. Oh my gosh! Yes, man. Oh. Hey. Set your spawn here in case you die again. Then you'll be right here. <gasps> Dude, the warden was like ten blocks away from me. This is terrifying. What's happened? Why is he mad? Oh, he's right next to me. <gasps> no! 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 No. Well. Have your sword? Oh, dude, wait, stop! Arrows. Stop! Oh! This is not going well now. It's it's not going well because, oh man, the, the warden's right on your stuff and every time I go near him, I get darkness. Oh, I don't want to lose my anything. Oh, do you want to come up here? Um, so I can... Dude, I refuse to give up. Uh, like, it's uh... gone. It's too late. Which chest was yours? Was it the top the one? The top one. <gasps> yeah. Can I have both those Swift Sneak 2 books? Trade it for the... Oh. For, for something? I don't know. Do you... Oh, you have two other side books. Yeah, I'll trade it for this. that. That's a deal. I'll just... I'll put those in... Wait, you... Here, look. Take that. Dude, cheers. Do you want me to just slot you? Yeah. Well... I lost everything, so I've still got my Fortune 3 pickaxe. Thank goodness. Got my shovel. That's all I've come back with. Less than what I went with. No more Elytra for Cringy. Lost it. It's gone forever. And we're off to the trading hall so that I can... Oh. We're off to the trading hall so that I can get some gear back. And someone, which totally wasn't me, has blocked Gandalf's farming district with cobblestone. I'm gonna get myself some wood to trade for emeralds. Is this the Egg of Justice? <laughs> to brighten the mood, I thought maybe I'll mine my 14 diamond ores. 14, I think 30 diamonds. Ooh, 34. That leaves me with 63 diamonds. That's pretty cool. Let's see if anyone's selling gear at the shopping district. 10 diamonds for a netherite ingot? Yes, please. I'll buy a couple of unbreaking books. And I'll buy some glass for my bee farm. Wow, shopping's fun. Consumerism. Oh dear. <gasps> ah! Well, that just made my day. All right, I'm on my way to the newly built Enderman farm to get my gear up and running again. Eight diamonds, I will happily pay. Okay. Wait, why am I here and I have nothing again? I didn't die again. I just decided I would jump off of the edge. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't die, but I did jump into the void.
I have basically maxed out gear now. I'm better than I was before, actually, in terms of gear. Ah, oh, feels good. I have a trident. Ah, oh, you're kidding. I don't have flint and steel. All right, so a couple of things have just happened off camera. Hyperion Blaze gave me this elytra. Well, I, he didn't give it to me. I bought it for five diamonds. And I also bought three shulker boxes for six diamonds. I've still got 22 diamonds. Also, I found an enchanted golden apple while I was mining last night. Again, didn't get it on camera. And I didn't want to, like, pretend that I did find it on camera and, like, be like, wow, wow, look at this. Now, I would love to do some bigger progress on my base. I think I want to get some sort of observatory kind of thing up there. And maybe another room down there where I could make a proper super, super smelter. And I'd also... <laughs> like to make this enchanting room actually cool because at the moment it's so just basic like it's the absolute minimum of an enchanting room apart from maybe the lantern i guess that's nice i reckon it's time for a montage let's get into it Oh! Montage complete. So I've made a couple of upgrades to my place. You may notice my enchanting room is now looking a lot nicer. Like before it was just an enchanting table in a hole. It was terrible! I've got some anvils, grindstone, my ender chest, a lapis chest, and I've still got the head, because the head is now an iconic part of my base, and just a bit more decoration, you know. Red is not a colour that I use very much. And I'm not just talking about Minecraft, I'm talking about real life as well. Red is just not my thing, but it sure is fun to play with red. I felt like the blue and the red, I know that's a little bit interesting, but it kind of matches the theme of the enchanting table's top, how there's blue and red. So I thought I'd do that. Can change my mind if I want. Hang on, why aren't there any bookshelves doing anything? Because I've got a pressure plate here, and then bam. It's so satisfying. I could just stand here and just play with this for ages. I love it so much. I spent a long time trying to make it so that a skulk sensor would detect me walking up to it and then this would happen, but what the heck? Skulk sensors are way more annoying to use than I thought they would be. I surrounded it in wool and everything and it kept picking up like the pistons and everything. It was so frustrating and so I decided I'll just give up and maybe leave it to a later date. Now, this smelting area is gone and there's a vine climbing up here, and that's because I have a little observatory. So I can observe things that are happening. I see a herb down this way. Made use of my honey and slime, because it's just fun. I have my smelting room. I think this is like a kind of... I like the intimidating vibe I have in this smelting room with the lava and the magma and the dark blocks like the deep slate and the spruce. Just a simple super smelter back there where the minecarts distribute the ores and all the blocks or whatever I want to smelt and also the fuel. Um, I haven't got any fuel in it yet because I don't want to put any coal in it because it's a bit of a waste to put coal in a super smelter because what if you just want to smelt like a few things or even like if you want to smelt something that's less than a stack, it, it really can be a waste because it's like one coal for maybe four items. So it's just not worth using coal in a super smelter unless you have an absurd amount of coal. Like you have a wither skeleton farm that's just crazy. So yeah, this is this is the progress I've made. I had a bit of fun with the honey and the slime so that the way I get up and down is like a kind of just a fun Minecraft redstone thing. And then 
Oh, I just love this so much. It's the coolest feeling to walk up to the enchanting table and then all the bookshelves appear. It's awesome. I'm not so sure how I feel, how I feel about the stone in this area. Like, it's kind of nice because it's like, yes, I'm living in a cave. But it's also like, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. But I'll think about that another time. Also, look what I found. I found a skeleton horse and claimed it. It is now mine, and it is so slow, but hey, it's cool because I live underwater and now I've got a horse that can go underwater. It's just so slow. And it's also kind of noisy. Like, I'll just be in my base and then I hear... <sighs> okay, wait a minute. How did he get in here? Because he can't even fit. What? How? Well, I guess you're inside my base now. I have something I need to address. In episode 2, I made... A villager breeder because I wanted to make an iron farm and now it's episode 5 and I haven't made an iron farm so I think I'm gonna go make an iron farm okay so we're at my farming district and I thought I'd just update you I have marked out a kind of a little very brief road map so that my farming district isn't just a random explosion of farms you know I want to have a little bit of structure to it so it's neat as you can see here I've kind of got a road that goes around my farms these aren't farms yet those are gonna be a melon and a pumpkin farm that's gonna be another sugarcane farm that's like a copy of this one so it's like there's two kind of buildings that'll look cool and I've got plans to extend the bee farm by this much my iron farm will be over here I reckon I'm gonna make a start now mm. Alright, so I've made the spots where the villagers go and where the zombie goes. Now let's get those villagers. Alright, well here goes nothing. What? Hey! What? Something happened to my farm? This is gonna risk me. I can't believe that just worked without me punching a single villager. Yeah! See you later, nerds! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> -ha, yes, come with me. Oh, frill. You have fallen into my trap. My trap of making you exist. Yes, get in the boat. Yes, haha. <laughs> you cannot resist my authority. You look so tall, man. Why are you standing in the boat? Just sit down, relax, and enjoy the ride. Don't just walk over the boat, are you kidding? Row, row, row your boat gently on the land. Stop. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. This has got to be one of the most tedious things to have to do in Minecraft, but also <laughs> the funniest. <laughs> like, look at this scenario. I am... Rowing my boat through the nether with my fisherman villager to take him to his chamber where he will spawn iron golems for me. Oh, what a game we're playing. Oh, hey. So you got a little t a little module with both of these set up. No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> No! Just slowly push him up. <laughs> Alright, first villager. Hey guys, can I borrow one of you for a moment? No, not two of you. <laughs> this guy's like, wait, where are you taking him? So, you have chosen death. This village is probably terrified because he just witnessed me kill his friend. Look at him go. He's a pro. Right here. He's a pro Minecrafter. Very nice. Thanks for the help, bro. Yes, I'll leave you to it. I've got some things to be doing. So, iron golems are already spawning and I don't even have the zombie yet. I'm still going to put the zombie there. Just in... Oh, hey. Hello, zombie. There we go. My iron farm is more or less complete. I just need to figure out the sorting system and then they, it's all done. Yay, I have a source of iron. It kind of looks really ugly on the map though. I didn't name Dag the zombie. Uh... All right, so now I believe the farm is complete. 
Anyway, that'll bring Mudcraft episode 5 to a close. What an awesome adventure we've had, you know? Going to the deep dark was just crazy. You should definitely check out Gandalf's perspective on that on his channel. It was super cool and he has some some of the funny moments in there that I didn't actually include in my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the progress I've made on my base and the iron farm and let me finish by asking another question because last time I had a few people respond which is nice. Oh flip, now I have to think of a question. What is your favorite thing to do in Minecraft or favorite way to play it whether that's vanilla survival modded Minecraft, just creative building or PvP, whatever it is, redstone. What's your favorite thing to do in Minecraft? Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.